All right. So, talking to you about the remedy agaricus, um, in in context of pains, actually neuralgic pains, and um, agaricus muscaris, a fungi remedy. Typically, in any kind of neuralgia, whether it's trigeminal neuralgia, whether it's sciatica, whether it's any kind of pains in general. The main thing you will see in these cases is it's as if cold needles or sharp ice needles have touched. It's it's just as if coldness is going through them. That is a very strong uh, kind of a thing of uh, agaricus. Let me show you some very interesting symptoms of agaricus that we should kind of uh, know in that way. So you can see this uh, very interesting symptom from Nair repository from agaricus. You can see coldness, ice as if sharp. Touched or cold needle pierced. And that's the kind of sensation I'm talking about in agaricus. Deep coldness. And this this particular kind of coldness is anywhere on the body. And they are also very very chilly. <clears throat> Potter gives a sim single remedy uh, in in the repertory: neuralgic trigeminal neuralgia pain, where the sensation is. As of needles, as of cold. So when you see that in a case of trigeminal neuralgia, you know that agaricus in high potency will beautifully help. Agaricus also is one of the important remedies for uh, toothache, interestingly. But instead of uh, uh, like uh, opposite to um, to pulsatilla and coffee, because pulsatilla and coffee is better by putting cold water in the mouth. Agaricus is Aggravated by coldness, so this is very interesting. We come to another remedy, um, sepia. We come to another remedy, sepia. Uh, sepia for trigeminal neuralgia becomes an interesting remedy for trigeminal neuralgia when you see the main symptom of trigeminal neuralgia for sepia is especially neuralgia during pregnancy. And and the typical pain that sepia has is is that that they feel at night. With extreme pain, they feel at. The main indication that you want to know in in trigeminal neuralgia or sepia lady in pregnancies, they cannot tolerate odors. The slightest odors, single remedy in Kent, huh? CPA, and especially they feel better in warm room. This is very typical of uh, a CPA, and they cannot tolerate anyone smoking in and around. That can also bother the neuralgia. You want to lie down quiet. You know the famous symptom of CPA, you know, which um, Kent has written. You can see this indifference. Wants to lie down with eye closed. So this this general state of sepia will still remain in almost every sepia kind of uh, patient. One day, Doctor Ashok Mohanty told me a very interesting case of sepia, where he went to see a case of uh, this woman who had who had some health issues. So he went to see her at her house, and uh, uh, her family member said that you know she's uh, she's just here. And she was, she was listening everything, but she didn't want to give the case. So she just lied down like this, with half, with eyes kind of closed, not wanting to answer. That is the state of sepia. Indifference wants to lie down with eye closed. It's a very beautiful symptom of sepia. You will see in many cases. So magnesium phosphoricum. To most of us, this is one of the top number one remedy for trigeminal neuralgia. And I generally use it very more often in biochemic tissue salt. Uh, generally, in six x potency, as Boric says, it works better when given in warm water. I could often give it six hourly, and um, for a few days actually, and the spasms and the nerve pain can reduce. What do we know about magnesium phos? The typical symptom of magnesium phos is that it is a majorly kind of a spasmodic remedy, but Typically, the neuralgia of uh, magnesium phos will have to be feeling better by warm. 
if there is no better by warmth it cannot be magnesium force neurons let's try to study magnesium force a little bit more and this is where i want to tell you that almost all magnesiums magnesium carb magnesium muriaticum and magnesium phos are absolutely very important remedies for trigeminal neuralgia and i think that it kind of suits the state of trigeminal neuralgia also because what i what i also saw is uh, what i also saw about uh, trigeminal neuralgia interestingly is uh, typically um most of this magnesium patient have a history of a lot of repression and a lot of suppressed emotion and and they have lived a life of total repression so much so that uh, there has been so many disappointments and emotional trauma that they have started living a kind of a life where they live a life of compensation and they just start they just start accepting whatever it is and even stop feeling things and almost live a very robotic life almost not having their own choice not having their own will this at some point psychosomatically affects the body and uh, that's when uh, it causes the trigeminal neuralgia is one of the type of uh, problem that magnesium patient get and in that uh magnesium force is is a top remedy what about magnesium force i wanted to know first of all typically magnesium force has a lot of periodicity and uh, always aggravated more at night that's one thing they are very chilly aggravated by cold air and better by pressure better by warmth this is a very strong symptom of magnesium uh, force one interesting symptom is they often feel better after sleep so if, if you put them to sleep for some time you will see them feeling much better typically there is more infraorbital and maxillary neuralgia more often in uh, magnesium force more right sided we know about this magnesium force is right side colosynthesis is left side i think we know most most about it <clears throat> one thing that is not well known which nm choudhary has given is magnesium force the sweat is very hot on the forehead so this is a very interesting symptom of magnesium force have a look perspiration hot forehead sometimes you also may see the developing tics sudden tics and there is twitching of mouth corner so this is typical neuralgia of uh, magnesium force that you can take an idea about magnesium force and could be a very important tissue salt but also in c potency you can think about this remedy so give it a thought cactus cactus is also very important remedy for uh, trigeminal neuralgia interestingly belong to the cactus family one of the main symptoms for cactus and trigeminal neuralgia and also migraine and i want to tell you that cactus is one of the lesser known remedy for migraine the main symptom of um, cactus in neuralgia which is a intermittent neuralgia and you know it's a clamping type of pain generally all symptom of cactus is aggravated by fasting and uh, generally more right sided this remedy there is more action on vortex and it's more periodic cactus has this very important symptom which kent has written very beautifully that headache from delayed dinner and i think this also kind of you know spills out to the neuralgia of cactus when they kind of you know are are delaying food the neuralgia can increase for cactus <clears throat> typically the main symptom periodic right sided neuralgia every day same time reminds you of chininam sir by the way recently 
I treated a very interesting case of a trigeminal neuralgia after COVID. Very beautifully with China cell. Very beautiful case. Huh? So you can see a cactus pain in the face, fasting aggravate single remedy. Cactus. And better by lying down. Interesting. Cactus also has this cold sweat on the forehead, like Viratrum. Interestingly. So that's another symptom you want to remember about uh, cactus. However, the other thing about cactus, which may be lesser known, is in the Clark Dictionary, it's one of the main remedies for disappointment in love. So somehow there's a lot of grief at a deeper level for cactus. So a lot of their problems also are, are, are somehow connected to grief and a lot of disappointments in cactus. They are generally very slow people. You know, there's a very beautiful rubric in Kent. Slowness always behind time. That is also cactus, interestingly. And um, they have desire to do very strange things. Like if they fall very sick, they will just go and take a lot of medicines together. So there's a symptom. Medicine, drugs, swallow large doses of desire. Very interesting symptom. Right? There is also taxes bakata in this um, rubric. Interesting, right? And their, their, their very peculiar symptom is they are aggravated by talking of others. They want to be left alone. And that's why, you know, sometimes you can compare cactus and natural music because they come very close to each other in that way. <clears throat> cactus also has a very, very, very strong aggravation from wine. Yeah, it's something that you want to remember. And the modalities, which is they always feel better by open air. And always aggravated from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. That's a very strong kind of aggravating factor. Even the neuralgia is worse by slightest touch. It's kind of, it just, everything goes into a spasm. That's the main uh, contraction. That's the main genius of cactus. You know what Bogar writes, right? First line of Bogar, you can see very nice. Constriction of everything. Heart, chest, neck, body feels tight, wrapped. Everything becomes tight like this. This is the so the sensation they get is everything is tighter like this. This is cactus like gently. 